I do this for them. I do it for my brother and the other 294 men and women from the state of Pennsylvania that, get, that gave their life um, for us. Kendra Lynn lost her brother, Staff Sergeant Stephen Tudor, 12 years ago in Iraq. For the past six years on Memorial Day, she has held a balloon release in his honor. He loved us. He loved all of us. And he, more than anything, he just wanted to come home and be with his family and be with all of us and enjoy his retirement. This year, Kendra has received a lot of backlash on social media against the release, while also getting hundreds of emails and dozens of calls. So it took one person to get that Facebook post going of how balloon releases should be illegal, they're not honoring anybody, um, what goes up must come down and it kills animals and I'm unpatriotic and how can I do this and just really bad thing. Kendra tells Eyewitness News she wants Memorial Day to be about remembering those who have fallen. I still never knew what Memorial Day was until my brother was killed and I will never ever think of it as a day off of work again. Despite all of the backlash she has received, the community is on her side. For them to pick on somebody like this and like try to shut this down and for the memorial for the fallen that have given their lives for us, I, I just I think it's wrong. Many things we could be doing to take care of things and keep it clean. A little balloon falling or traveling somewhere, it's not the end of the world. Honor our fallen. To remember the veterans, the ones who fight in the war that died and helped us save our country. In Duncanic, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News.